2023 Bianca Ultra Pro in a size 53, weighing 16 pounds, 11 ounces. And in kilos, 7.52 kilos. Stay tuned after the video where you're here, a free body sound test on those wheels right there. Hey there, guys. GC Performance here, back with another video. And today I have for you guys a very special hands on look at the brand new Bianca Ultra. This is the Pro model. This is a size 53 and this thing retails for $12,100. Uh, I just wanna give a first, a huge shout out thanks to uh, Miguel over at City Bikes in Aventura. They have this bike in stock and is ready to be sold. This is the first one I've actually seen in the country. And this is what they're known for with these little fairings on the outside of the carbon. This is the newest, most fastest race bike that they offer. They claim to be one of the fastest aero road bikes in the world right now as well but there was a little bit of controversy with these little fairings, which we'll talk about in a second. But as you guys can tell, this looks nothing like the Ultra XR4. This is like their whole new lineup of hyper bikes. This looks very similar of copy and paste of a bunch of mixed bikes. We have the, the one piece handlebar bar and stem combo it looks very like a Cervelo S5. We have the new cutout of the drag arrow reduce for the rear wheel. We have the very radical hyper looking shape of the new frame with the tucked in wheel as well on the front right there. Uh, the bike looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, again, like I said, this is the pro model. So this is 12,100. There is a model above this for 15,000 and there's a model below this, I believe for 6,000, 7,000, whatever the model is. So they actually have a whole lineup of everything that you want to look at. They have different tiers of components as well. And uh, for the weight of this bike, this is my first time seeing the weight of this bike for how aero it is. And this is their most aero bike they offer. 7.50 kilos with SRAM Red and being a full aero bike with a kind of 50 millimeter uh, new uh, Rapardo course wheels that they offer. I think that's not bad at all. So uh, yeah, very excited to get my hands on this bike and now I can show you guys kind of everything about this thing. So a couple things about this bike. They say that it is a staggering 17.1 watts faster than their old Bianca Ultra XR4 at 50 kilometers an hour. Now again, people like 50 kilometers an hour, I'm not doing that. But again, this bike is made for race riders this is meant for pros uh, enthusiasts cat one two racers cat five racers whatever you want to do um, but when you're traveling at those speeds and to get that big an advantage uh, is pretty pretty crazy now these are all numbers that are dealt out by their own company so we have to kind of take their word for it but uh yeah th that is a big big number to hear when it's 17.1 watts faster over 50 kilometers when you're traveling at those speeds it's going to help you uh one maintain top end speed easier you're going to be less fatigued for the race you're going to be fresher for the sprints and everything like that they also took advantage of the new uci rules making these head tube uh, area right here which is a little bit longer to be more aero they made the bottom bracket area down here a little bit wider and fatter as well but uh this bike looks beautiful i mean at first when i saw it in picture it kind of looked uh you know because you only see on the picture you only see like the flat background but in terms of like the sculpting the look of the bike the handlebar itself is very cool, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, and, and just the weight of the bike. I thought it was going to be kind of a heavier pig. But again, for what the bike is, I think it's, it's a badass bike. Now, $12,000, I'll talk about it, I'll be honest with you. $12,000 is kind of expensive when you have a $15,000 model. I think the customer that has twelve grand will probably go to the fifteen grand um, model. And for all those different price points, like I mentioned before, this is the Bianchi RC Pro. I'm sorry, the Bianchi Pro. They also make a Bianchi RC, and they also make a Bianchi Comp. Each one of those models, the 15, the 12, and then also the cheaper model, have all different carbon levels. So this is still, even though you're buying a $12,000 bike, you're not getting their top tier carbon, although it feels very, very lightweight. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Like I said, I think that you would have a, see there's a little pro logo right there. I think that if you had the 12.1 plus tax, you probably got the, the 15 as well. So that's just my take on the matter. But Different colors at the 15 point price point. You also get power meters, you get different components as well. Different options. Uh, they have a campy model as well in there. But uh, I believe the wheels are exactly the same. I believe the handlebar and stem are exactly the same. Only the power meter and the frame changes. But without further ado, let's get into this cockpit. So this is the most radical redesigned part about the bike. This is their whole integrated one piece barn stem combo made specifically by Bianchi, proprietary for this bike. They have their own handmade spacers. Again, it looks very copy and paste to like a Sorel S5. Uh, this looks a little bit more chunkier here. We have our clamp bolts right here. We have a little top cap to go ahead and tighten down the top of the stem as well. You can see here we kind of have these little dimples here to help with aerodynamics and also a little aerodynamic channel right here as well. Uh. Um, but a little bit of an aerodynamic channel here as well to help 
I uh, want to keep the bike mounted and fast at flat speeds, but also uh, help with the aerodynamics. Now, the only downside to this is that when you buy this bike, if you have any changes to your bar length or stem or, or whatever you want to change here, this is all one piece, like I mentioned before. So you would have to swap this out and buy a whole new bar and stem combo, which I'm assuming will be $600 plus for a model like this. Uh, I do like, however, how wide this is. This seal is very, very comfortable, very ergonomic. Um, and then I believe they do also give you an option for a, I think they would. Okay. So another thing that I would probably say in here is that they don't have an option for an integrated bar mount stem. So if you want to put your, if you want to put your computer on here, like a Garmin or Wahoo, I don't see anywhere to mount a, a, a computer mount on there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below, but I would think you would want something like that. Maybe you can mount it right here. I don't know. Maybe they give you one in the, the user manual. Not too sure. They do have the breakaway spacers here, so you can go ahead and level this thing off. And like I mentioned before on the Cervelo S5s, I don't think this bike looks good unless you have it slammed. So if you're buying this bike and you want to be judged on aesthetics alone, I say you buy this bike, you got to slam it because it has the room right there to fit the stem perfectly, but that is all. Now, we went through the bar and stem combination. Now for these things that are so small and so tiny, but cause so much controversy. So they added these little air fairings on here and as you can see they're supposed to help with aerodynamics similar to like a hypercar like a porsche like a ferrari they have these little things to help with aerodynamic um to help the wind go capture through the front of the bike and then out towards it to make it more aerodynamic when they first released this this was all fine and dandy they said this is fast so this is going to be the new thing and a lot of people are saying oh it's it's uh it's just marketing it doesn't really do anything but it does help a little bit with aerodynamics when traveling at faster speeds but the only downside to it is now is that uci has now said that this is more illegal for racing because this is an add-on to your bike to make it faster. So that's why they include these little T10 bolts or T15 bolts right here. So you can go ahead, if you're not racing and you're just an enthusiast, you can actually remove these off the bike and then make it a race ready bike. So if you do see these bikes inside the tour, uh, any kind of grand tour, they probably won't be having these little air fairing, uh, little fairings on here as well. Uh, I believe they are carbon fiber. I would assume they will be nothing less, but yes, that was the cool thing about when we first saw this, like, oh, fairings on a bike. Faster bikes makes sense. Cars have it, motorcycles have it. But then after a while they came out and they said, yeah, that's actually illegal. So that's a controversy right there. On here, we do have this little kind of sloping top tube up here to make it more aerodynamic. We have the tucked in wheel as well, right on the down tube, which makes it look sleek. We have the tucked in wheel on the back of the frame as well, which is very nice. Another touch to the bike, which is new to this year, is their new Bianchi's own uh, Reparto. Rapardo course wheels, 50 millimeter depth wheels, 50R. These are tubeless ready. They are hooked wheel. They have their own RC hub and they do have a nice free body sound to them as well. So we'll get a free body sound test at the end of the video, but they do look very, very nice and very expensive. I believe these are the exact same wheels that come on the RC model. Uh, again, these are the 50R, the Rapardo course wheels. You can kind of see the nice in-depth carbon fiber detail on the edge of them. They come equipped with Pirelli, uh tlr sl race tires as well these look to be a 700 by 26 c tire and like i said you can make them a uh you can make them a tubeless ready wheel if you wanted to the components that come on the bike are going to be the sram red components they're all specced out now i'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of bianchi enthusiasts in here saying you buy bianchi you put italian on it it's an italian bike you go ahead and fit it with campy that's your choice that's your cup of tea everyone has their own preference so if they want a sram red bike they have the option to do so we have our own Bianchi RC skewers right here with a 160 millimeter uh, center lock rotor and also the uh, SRAM red caliper. And you can see they did put little dimples or, or air aerodynamic things on there, similar to like a golf ball to help with airflow. As much as I don't know if this is marking or not, I mean, you have these little dimples here, but then I also have this quick release handle there, kind of negates that. But you know, you can tell they're trying and you can only do so much to a bike. I've always mentioned this. You can always do so much to a bike to change it within the UCI rules. The UCI need to loosen up the rules to make these bikes a little bit cooler, to, to really let these engineers and these developers and manufacturers make a lightweight bike. Yes, I agree so. We do have the beautiful Bianchi name going all the way down. This bike is a press fit bottom bracket, PF86 bottom bracket with a SRAM red crank on here. We do have a T20, looks like Bianchi bolts and a nice teal or the Bianchi blue. Uh, for the crank, like I mentioned, it is not a power meter, but it is a SRAM red crank with a 4633 chain ring. I would assume you want a 50 tooth chain ring on here. I would assume you want nothing more than a standard chain ring. I don't know why they would put a compact chain ring on here with what looks to be a 1026 cassette right there. 
We do have a SRAM Red 12 speed flat top chain and also a SRAM Red 12 speed rear derailleur and front derailleur as well. Um, absolutely beautiful. Lower rear stays, the old tray color right there, but the bike looks phenomenal so far. Going to the rear wheel, it's the exact same depth as the front. Again, it has their own Bianchi hub, which I'll give you guys a little bit of free of bias on this right now. Sounds very Italian, sounds like fulcrum, sounds like those, uh, a lot of the hubs I do from Ita uh, Italy. So it is very cool. Now, a little bit closer deep dive look at the rear of the bike with kind of, it kind of has like a little cutout for the wheel right there, which looks nice. The wheel is tucked pretty nice up there. Uh, and same with the front wheel as well. We're seeing more and more bikes come with these wheels so far out in front of the bike frame, so back from there, like the SL7. Uh, but you want to make these things as tucked as possible to create the best aerodynamics you can on these bikes to make them faster. So they're doing a pretty good job with the aerodynamics of this bike. Really excited to see how this thing performs in real world culture. Uh, we have a little bit of a Bianchi engineered vibration canceling system. I don't know where the vibration canceling system is on this bike, but I'm sure that with the carbon fiber on here, they have some kind of dampening system on here to make it a little bit more compliant and comfortable. We have a 160 millimeter rotor in the rear and then the exact same tires up front, the Pirelli P0 Race TLR SL. And uh, yes, seat post is going to be proprietary. This is the Bianchi RC seat post, uh, carbon fiber. I'm sure that these are all the exact same seat posts for the comp, the RC and the pro models because why would you make three different seat posts? So I'm sure this is the highest grade seat post carbon you can make. You have a seat post wedge right here. Looks to be where you can go ahead and adjust the uh, height of the seat post. And then for the saddle as well, you get to look, so looks to be a top tier saddle. Uh, the Rapardo course RC saddle by Bianchi. Very lightweight, it actually feels, one, I'm gonna say this saddle feels very comfortable off the back. Usually these seats feel very dense. This feels a little bit more forgiving. You have the carbon fiber saddle right here. The body, you have the carbon fiber rails. It looks really, really good. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Big shout out again to Miguel over at City Bikes for let me do a video on this bike. This is the first one I've seen in my area. So uh, if you guys are looking for this bike in a size 53 and you wanna be the first one to ride it around your area and you have the money for it, come on down here and ask for uh, Miguel. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Oh, so you gotta get a free buy sound test real quick. With me holding this like this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in my crotch. That's the best I can do guys, I'm sorry. But it does sound very, very good. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I know you guys are still in my crotch. But hopefully you guys had a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one.